Growing up, you know, anything that was broken in the house, I usually ended up taking apart. I had no idea what I was doing, but somehow when I put it back together, it usually worked. There was this company called Northrop, and they were building this gigantic facility. And there was all kinds of articles in, in Popular Mechanics and Aviation Leak about you know, this top secret bomber program. So um, we all you know, applied for these jobs. They brought a whole bunch of us down. They're saying, hey, do you want to work on the coolest airplane ever? Something you've never seen before? My mother worked for Northrop in the Treasury Department. And uh, she called and said, hey, Northrop just won a big program. We're going to be starting up a big hiring. So I went and applied and got the job. My mom, she said, what are you working on? Mom, I can't tell you what I'm working on. It's a program that's classified. First day at Northrop Grumman. We walk into this room through a metal door, and there it is. A gigantic, full-scale mock-up of a B-2. And it's huge. An IPT is an integrated product team. We got challenged to actually do Ship 7 in a lot quicker time than what normally took. It was named the pirate ship. Steve was the air vehicle manager. Jolene was the person that was in Air Vehicle 7 IPT every morning. I don't know what you guys are going to be doing today, but you're not getting anywhere near the airplane. <laughs> Wherever you say Jolene, because you don't say no to Jolene. The different thing about the B-2 is they are the first ones that go in. They knock down the doors, allow other planes that are not stealth, and do their job. We're kind of breaking new ground. Very complex system. It's so complex it makes the defensive management system and offensive management system on the B-1 just seem rudimentary. A lot of naysayers, and they all came out of the woodwork. Oh, it'll never fly. You guys are going to kill the pilots. You know, you better get it right, because we were responsible for these pilots' lives. First flight was July 17th. Daughter was born July 1st. So luckily, she came in time. My daughter was wrapped up in a little bundle in the back of the camper. And then we were up at sunrise waiting for it to fly. It's all about first flights, because you spend years and years and years of working long hours. And it wasn't because we had to be. We wanted to be. So there's always something going on. So on AV7, I called my father and I said, make sure you bring your camera. So he starts filming. And uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I can see a little sliver. It comes to the end of the runway, and it comes up, and it just becomes from barely visible to huge. And it flies right over our head. It still gives me chills. I'll never forget that experience. He was, he was so proud. When it flew over, it was one of those goosebump moments that you just, it was awesome. You know, clearly the effect of that program had on, I'll call it that generation of aerospace workers. I'm no different than anybody else. You can talk to any one of a hundred people, a thousand people that worked on the B-2, and they'll tell you the same stories I did. I, I wouldn't trade my experience on the B-2 for anything. <laughs>